welcome to part 2 of my object detection using c sharp tutorial in this session i will show you how to display the detected object in the image like this see in part 1 we get the details of all the objects in our image now in this session i am going to show you how to display this square and how to add this particular text into our image okay let's start in order to render all the details about the object in the image i will create one method that is add details method okay void add details to picture box and then here I will receive two arguments. First argument is the picture box reference. So picture box, picture box to render. And my second argument is the list of YOLO items. Okay. But right now this list is showing error. So I want to import system.collection.generic ok so i will choose that option ok it is of the type yellow items ok we want to import the necessary using statement so we use using address.yolo.model ok the error has gone here i want to write a logic to display all these items to this picture box image so here i will call this particular method so here i will call this thing and then the first argument is our picture box reference so i will use pac image that is our picture box name so i will pass that picture box as the first argument and the second argument is of type list of yolo item so here we already collect the list of yolo items so i will just pause the reference of that items here i will remove this breakpoint and then here i want to write a logic to add all the objects that is there in these items to this particular picture box image okay so our first step is to fetch image from our picture box and then store that image in a separate reference okay so i will use where bitmap is equal to picture to render okay picture box to render dot image it gets the image that is there in our picture box and then now i want to get the graphics from the image this graphics is used to draw a circle and to display the text on our image okay so graphics dot from image to that we want to pause this bitmap okay this bitmap is actually not the correct name so i will change this bitmap to image because it is not of type bitmap but it is of type image so i will use img okay and then i will collect its result in var graphics okay now we want to iterate through all objects that is there in these items and then the first step i want to add the square that wraps the object okay so i will use the for loop to iterate through these items okay so use for each for each where item in items and then here i will fetch all the necessary details like the x-axis and y-axis the height and width of the object okay so where x equal to item this item is the individual object in the image because this items contain all the objects that is there in our image so we are iterating through it and then during each iteration we will get the reference of each item that is there in our image so I will get its x-axis, y-axis and its height and width, okay. So where y is equal to item.y, where width is equal to item.width, 
similarly where height is equal to item dot height okay we get all the necessary parts to draw a rectangle on our image okay so i'll use where rect equal to new rectangle and then here i will pass x axis y axis and its width and height width height so these are all the x axis and y axis and the width and height of the particular item that is there in our image it will create a rectangle of this particular size okay and then right now this rectangle doesn't have outline okay so what i want to do is i want to create a pen so where pen is equal to new pen here i want to pass the color and the pixel so color dot i will choose light green okay as the color of the pen and this second argument is the width of the line okay i will choose Mm, six okay six and then i will type graphics dot draw rectangle and then here as the first argument i want to pass the pen and then the second argument is the rectangle okay that's all i will run my application once again browse choose this image detect okay but it is not actually displaying any rectangle over this object check. okay i will check my code okay we missed one part that is storing the bitmap again to the picture box so what i will do is picture box to render there is a name i think so picture box to render dot image is equal to image img because we edited the graphics of this img only see we edited the graphics of this img okay now i will run this program once again i will just maximize the window i will browse and then i will choose this picture detect okay now it is working see you can able to see this particular rectangle over this object okay my program is working fine now only one part is left that is displaying the type of the object in the center of this rectangle okay that is very simple believe me that is very simple okay in order to do that what we want to do is um, we want to get few properties to actually draw a string okay they are font sorry set font is equal to new font of first thing is the font type i will set arial and then the second argument is the size so choose 50 and then the third argument is font style so font style dot Mm, bold okay we'll set bold okay we set up the font and then we want to set up the brush using that brush only it will draw the text on the image so where brush equal to new solid brush it has the color of light green we will go with the color of our rectangle now i will just give one thing here graphics dot draw string and then the first argument is the string to display so here the string to display is the type of the item so we can use item dot type and then the second argument is font third argument is brush and then the final argument is the point but we haven't created any point object so what i will do is inside this for loop i will create the point because we want the x-axis and y-axis of the item to actually display the text so i'll use where point is equal to new point of here i want to post the x-axis and y-axis so i'll use this x and y 
and then I will pass that point as the final argument to this drawstring method. Okay, that's all. Now I will run my project. Browse. And now I will choose this bird. Detect. See, it is actually displaying the rectangle along with the type of that object. See, it is of type bird. Okay, now our program is working fine, but it has one small bug. You can't actually find that bug in this image, so I'll choose another one image. Okay, detect. Okay, see, here there are two objects. It actually detects two objects. The first object is this person object. See, the person is not actually displayed in the center of this rectangle, but it displays in the starting of this rectangle. Similarly, this TV monitor also, it gets displayed in the starting point of this object. Okay, so what I want to do is, I want to center this text both horizontally and vertically. Okay, so the logic is simple. That is, we want to do x plus from the x, we want to go to its half. So what we want to pause is x plus width. It will actually move uh, the text to the rightmost side. But we don't want that. We want to move this point to go to the middle. So I will do width by 2. That will prevent this x-axis to go to the rightmost thing. And then it will stay in the middlemost part. Okay. Horizontally. And then the second part is y plus height. Similarly, it will also move the y-axis to the bottom most point of the image. I don't want this to happen. I want this y-axis to be there in the center of the rectangle. So I will do height by 2. So using this logic, we can able to center the text. Now I will run this project once again. I will maximize this window. I will browse for the image. Now I will choose this particular thumbnail. This is the thumbnail of my gmap.net video. See, now it actually displays the rectangle and then see this text actually starts from the center of this rectangle. Okay, so I will browse on another image and then I will show it to you. Detect. See, this text actually stays center both horizontally and vertically. Similarly, this thing also stays center both horizontally and vertically. Okay. That's all for this session. If you have any queries, please let me know in the comment section. Suppose if you want my personal help on your project means, you can reach me through mail. Okay, meet you soon in one of my another video. Till then, thank you and goodbye.